So, this is a final, final update in oh, the Adam Levine there's saga. There's a part three. There's a part three. And I, and I got to say, there's a part three for one reason only. For what? So, remember what I was telling you about when we had that conversation towards the end about... Okay, quick recap, if you aren't aware... Adam Levine was out here apparently messaging everybody in their DMs telling them how hot and beautiful they are. Some people feel like that's cheating. Me, personally, I just think he's being very complimentary and positive. Shout outs to Adam. Out here spreading that body positivity. Hey, bitch, you hot as fuck. Who doesn't feel better about their body when they hear that from Adam? Okay, good man. People allege that he was cheating. One TikToker alleges that. Adam apologizes. Now, I came in with the take that I don't think this man was cheating for one simple reason. His wife knows, and his wife is fine with it. Now, this was just me speculating, but judging by how a lot of Hollywood relationships work, that's what I believed. Mm -hmm. Now, update recently, the wife, who's a Victoria's Secret model named uh, Behati Prinslow, okay, she came out and said that she's not bothered by what happened, but she's more bothered by how it all came out and it was embarrassing publicly. That's exactly what the fuck you said. That's what I was saying. That's exactly what you said. That's okay. verbatim. You said, I don't think they cheating because they got a whatever, some kind of understanding. It's really just that in the press, it looks bad. That's what you said. Yes, and it is embarrassing. Have friends and family. Because like, even if she has that understanding with Adam. It's not just your friends and family. Right? Now everybody in your business. Because even though she has that understanding with him, where she's like, listen, you can go do your dirt. Just don't embarrass the family. Having to explain that our thing to most normal people is is embarrassing because yeah. most people don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, she's a Victoria's Secret model. She's been around all these rich dudes her whole life, probably. Okay, <laughs> or her professional life. So she knows what it is. Okay, so when she's married, and one, I'm pretty sure she's not under no illusion about what it's like. They got two kids together. They're expecting the third. They're just trying to work through it. They got no issues. What I'm trying to relate to you guys is that a lot of times when we see these cheating scandals, it, it is what Kevin Samuels used to speak about. It's a scandal for us. There you go. Well, it's a scandal for y'all. <laughs> we know we, we know how it works. It's a, scan, it's a scandal for, like, man, you you work in hotels. <laughs> go for it. Tell them. You work in hotels. You see enough shit that you're like, all right, it'd be like that. Tell them. Well, we're not filming, but we had a Grand Prix here. And I worked in a hotel where, where people used to say that. Who are kind of people? Well, drivers, parties going on. <laughs> I mean, it'd be like you like, oh, all right, your wife, your wife, your wife is, your your wife is coming tomorrow, and and you, I, room service, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> Yeah. And, that, <laughs> and, and 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 then you you wonder why they they make you sign NDAs and you're like oh oh room service mm -hmm. where should I put this uh, <laughs> over there and it'd be like that I'm not even joking okay not just anybody anybody you, you want to know how not embarrassing these people want to be so there was a congressman I think he's in a wheelchair this white dude in in, in the U S. He was on a podcast, all right, and he was just talking crazy. He was talking about what it's like to be now in uh, Washington, how people invite him to, like, be swingers with their wives, how congressmen have these huge orgies and sex. And, bruv, this dude within the next election cycle got shafted so bad and ostracized by the Republican Party. Why do you think that is? Not because what he said was not true, but because... He wasn't supposed to say that shit out loud. There's a kind of unspoken rule, be it with journalists or a lot of the people even living in these kind of like adjacent spheres to the political scene where they don't report on a lot of this stuff because everyone has an understanding. The heads of the newspapers have understandings. The people in power have understandings. It's like, listen, unless something illegal is happening or it's like a conflict of interest, this shit, we let it slide. You guys think that because you guys don't hear about these scandals every day or this cheating or infidelity or these like stepping out of marriages that it's not happening. No, it's happening all the time. And everybody knows it's happening in those worlds. They just don't report on it because there's an understanding. And the thing that happened is that you remember what happened with Bill Clinton? And when it happened, I was younger. But then after that, I worked in the industry and stuff. And I reflected on that. And I'm like, it wasn't about that. I don't know why 
be out it out like that. But who cares? Because stuff like that's been happening. So why did it get outed? It's not because we think we, 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 we oh, the president had an affair. Bitch, you think <laughs> that John F. and all of them didn't? They were. Really? They, they all do it. It was actually open that Marilyn Monroe, whatever. Hey, we're not going to go into that. But so that's why it made me think, like, why is it out like that? Mm hmm. But Why this is out like that and it making so much noise for that? What's happening? What's oh. under there? What are you trying to do? Well, well, this reason this is out like that is because he was an idiot. And instead of going with a professional mm -hmm. or somebody who's industry vetted, he went this moon was in random people's DMs shooting his shot. You were oh, no, involving I'm normies. Clint I'm talking about Clinton. Oh, well, him, it was at the workplace and the woman had a lot to say. Yeah, there you go. Right? Again, that's... But it's it. the same thing. You can't. It's the same thing. It's the, exactly what you said. There are ways you do it to make sure everything's kosher. But but that's why. Remember when we had that discussion with the whole Fresh and Food guys, and they're like, "We never pay for box. Only losers pay for box." And I'm like, "You're an idiot." Yeah. Because if you know anything about dudes who have or are ultra wealthy, one thing they definitely do is they pay for box or they pay for prostitutes, whatever, because they don't want what's happening to Adam Levine, right? They the don't. reason why. Some athletes get outed every time they get outed as cheaters. You want to know why? It's because they're stepping out of their marriage, not with a professional, but with a regular ass person. When George, Paul George, had his, uh, he, he decided to take pics and send it to some random broad. And then mm -hmm. they got outed. Everyone, everywhere out there. You haven't heard a peep from Paul George. But it's not because this dude's not out here doing fuckery. It's because he's learned his lesson. And now he has a professional service. I was talking about in the last video how athletes all use a professional provider yeah. to set them up with women. And they just toss the same women around from guy to guy. So bring it all back. Basically, uh, and, and, and if your argument is, well, these guys don't need to, they don't need to pay, they don't need to pay to get box. No, they don't. They pay for the other service, the hush service, the grab your shit, shut the fuck up and leave. There you go. They, they, it, it, yeah, I don't have to pay for box. I'm paying for something else. So that's so that's how they do it. That's and and that's how they have to do it. Or or you go the Chris Brown route, where you get a bunch of women thrown into a van. They come by your place. They know where they're going. It's not like they're throwing like traffic. Okay, I was like, where are you hey, going? Hey, 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 hey. Whoa! But listen, listen. They go up. They show up to the spot. They sign NDAs. They have all their electronics confiscated, and then it's basically a fest. Yes. Now you might be wondering, that's disgusting. Why would I? Hey, listen. Have you seen Chris Brown fans? A lot of them would jump at the chance. I've seen women say they read, they'll accept getting beaten up if it means he beat that shit up. You feel me? So, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. No, I was, I just, I just, just, no, just laugh because it was bars. <laughs> I just, I just, so, that, that was. It's another world. It's another world. I, think, I, I don't think people, understand. so that's why when I, when I hear folks talk about, well, I, would I would never, how do you mean, it's not for you. They would You're not flying in private jets. I, I, but I don't care about that. I know you don't care. That's why it's, it's not for you. That's why you weren't invited. Okay? It's another world. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. It is. It is. It's crazy. Okay? None of these people that you think are faithful are faithful. None of them. I used to believe that as well. And then I met the industry person who sets up a lot of these dudes. He's like, this client, this client. I said, nigga, who? Nigga what? But I thought he loved Jesus. He says, yes, on weekdays. I said, oh, shit. Guess it's Satan on Sundays. So... <laughs> it's a different world. That's what I'm trying to say. It's, that's all I'm trying to say. And that's why I'm saying it's none of your business because it's not. Yeah. None. Yeah. Of y'all business because you you y'all move differently and that's okay. It's alright as long as it's not illegal. But it's it's really that. It's really that. And it, it, yeah, if someone wants to start things and ruin you, yeah. whatever, whatnot. They're, they're gonna try to do it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like that whole Kevin Hart scandal happened, and then everybody went, "Oh, I can't believe it." It's like. He cheated on his first wife, then cheated on the second one. But if you're honest, you already know he was doing a whole lot more the entire time. It's just that he had a family-friendly image, and that needs to be maintained. So when he got messy, it caused a lot of problems. That's it. Money. The people who get involved with these athletes and these celebrities and these politicians know what it is. They're doing it for a quick check. Um, the athletes and all of them know what it is, and the wives know what it is. They either have a don't tell me, I don't want to see it policy, or they're like, keep me private, but don't make sure any, any shame brings up that's it. It's an arrangement. Yep. And so that's why whenever I hear people talk about love and then they point to celebrities like Beyonce and Jay-Z and all of them, 
Uh, let me tell you, if you think those people are faithful, you are fucking delusional. Don't, don't hold any of these relationships that you see in the public sphere on a pedestal. It's all fluff and images for social media. That's all it is. Hey, hey, I want that Will and Jada love. <laughs> bitch, I hope you're ready to go bald. <laughs> it's LOP shit. No, bitch, you just bald. Stop. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> Fuck out of here, bro. For years. Bro. For years. Is there anything you want to say on this topic of uh, cheating and all this stuff? No. Hey, listen, if you look long enough, there's a lot of info out there. There's a lot. Yeah. 